Hello and welcome to Deriving with Todd, and I'm Todd. I thought it'd be fun to do a Samantha Fish song. Now, I've done one reaction on Samantha Fish, and I've been wanting to do one for quite a while, and other uh, reactions, either requests or things that come to my mind, um, become the, the thing that I do. So today it was like, no, I'm going to do a Samantha Fish. Now, I don't know much about her albums and what's on her albums. I only did the one reaction video, so it's the only song I ever heard her do. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to see what covers she does. Well, I found that she did quite a number of covers of major artists' songs. And the one that really got me was she does a cover of Black Sabbath's War Pigs. And I think the way it almost looked is she does that at nearly every one of her concerts. So what I chose was a video. I tested it a little bit, about 30 seconds, and the audio sounded incredible. So I thought, this one I'm going to take, and it's live in 2020. Now, I have no idea where it's live. There's no information other than the fact it says Samantha Fish War Pigs 20, Live 2020. So don't know. I'm sure that, that the Samantha Fish fans out there do know where this was recorded and will let me know in the comments. So with that, we're going to listen to Samantha Fish doing Black Sabbath War Pigs. And here we go. Just like witches at black masses Evil minds that plot destruction Sorcerers of death's construction The fuse of bodies burning As the war machine keeps turning Death and hatred to mankind Just stopping right there. Wow, this is this is definitely following the Black Sabbath version, especially in a drummer. The drummer is hitting like all of the same uh, drums and 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 the same rhythm as Bill Ward from Black Sabbath. I mean, just really, really hitting everything just right. And the guitar, wow, just really smooth as well. I mean, it definitely is a good representation of Black Sabbath War Pigs. And then the bass player. Really, really good as well. And her vocals, so much different than Ozzy Osbourne. At first it was like, you know, she really doesn't have enough intensity to her vocals. And then as she started singing more, it was, I really like this kind of southern blues type uh, vocalization of the song. It's really kind of cool. So far, this is great. This is such a great representation of War Pigs. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going on this.
darkness, the world stops turning. Ashes where the body's burning. No more pigs have the power. And a god has struck the hour. Day of judgment, God is calling. On the knees of all pigs crawling. Okay, 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 I gotta stop it right here. Um, the guitar solo was incredible. I mean, that was not like an exact cover of Tony Iommi playing the guitar solo in War Pigs, but it was kind of her rendition of how Tony was playing it in War Pigs. She was just burning the fretboard. That was excellent. That was excellent. Then they come back into the vocal part of it, and the more I hear her vocals on this song, the more I like it. Like I said, initially it was like, wow. That's a little weak. And then as she's getting into the song, she's powering her vocals on this song. And I like, like I said, I kind of like that little southern uh, twinge she has in her voice as she's singing this song. And then right before she did the guitar solo, I love the scream that she did. That was great too. And, the, and, and I got to say again, this drummer that she has in her band is phenomenal. Wow. I mean, he is just holding this whole thing together with his drums. And like I said, it's almost like, drum for drum, beat for beat of to of, of Bill Ward's uh, uh, drumming in the song War Pigs. Just really, really good. And I like the bass player. If you look at his face, he's just having a lot of fun up there, and he's really driving along with the drummer. Wow, this is just really class act. This is good stuff. Okay, let's keep this thing going now. On the knees of War Pigs crawling <laughs>
That was quite uh, uh, an ending there. That drummer, I he he's great. I mean, he's just great. I love the way he's drum and he's crossing over his drums and he's flipping the, the drumsticks in the air and he catches them and he's oh, unbelievable. I'm, I mean, I can't even do it and I'm not. I don't even have any drums or drumsticks in front of me and I can't do what he was doing. That was incredible. That was really really good. I liked it too. Wow. I mean, the second guitar solo that Samantha played. That was incredible too. And then she's playing, you know, off of the bass player. I really like that too, where those two got together and she was playing, you know, her 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 guitar and he was he was going along with the bass trying to follow her notes. Just really, really good. I mean, this was this was this was a lot better than what I thought it was gonna be. I wasn't sure how uh, the the uh, Samantha Fish band was gonna do war pigs, but it was great. <laughs> This was an excellent cover of that song. And it, I mean, it's such a cool song anyways. I mean, it's off of, the, off of Black Sabbath's second album, Paranoid. And it's, it's, it's probably one of the, you know, top tracks that everybody played off that album. That one and, and Iron Man, of course. And they just, they just cooked this song. I mean, it was, it was excellent. Like I said, the guitar work was great. The drummer was fantastic. The bass playing just fell in line with the drum and, and the guitar. And then her vocals. I really did get into her vocals as she started getting more and more into the song. I was digging that kind of that that kind of country blues type of vocal she she's she has. It was just added so much dimension to the song and, and sort of made it her own. It was almost I was as I was thinking, as she was singing late, uh, later into the song, it was like if Janis Joplin was there, and Janis Joplin was, could play guitar, and she was she was hammering the guitar and singing. I mean, it was that kind of power coming out of Samantha Fish's um, a voice uh, out of her mouth. It was it was just really kind of cool. I also liked her guitar. I liked that little fish, uh, the fish bones that she had on the guitar. That was kind of cool too. That must have definitely been a custom made guitar for Samantha. So this was great. I really enjoyed it. I'm I'm glad I, I picked this one. And and there was a, there, there's quite a number of um, YouTube videos of the Samantha Fish Band doing War Pigs, uh, but like I said, this one was kind of the recommended one. Uh, it was from it's it, it's from 2020, and when I listened to a little snippet, it uh, I thought the sound quality was just just excellent, and and the video was really good too. I mean, they had a lot of different angles of the band, and I kind of like that in a, in a live show where they're recording the band and they have all these different angles. I think that's really kind of cool. I, I really like that. So this is Samantha Fish Band doing War Pigs 2020. I guess it's uh, no cover, no minimum. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the venue they played at. I'm, I'm not sure the venue, uh, but she did say that um, George Thorogood was coming on next. So then we had another blues rocker right after uh, Samantha Fish. So the audience really got their taste of, of, of blues. Uh, at this concert, that's for sure. So, um, if you like this, if you like Samantha Fish Band doing War Pigs in 2020, hit the like button. That'd be really, really cool. If you have any comments about Samantha Fish, the song War Pigs, put it in the comments below. That'd be really nice too. Um, and like I said, if, if you know what venue or what concert this was that they were playing at, it looked like it was a festival of some sort, uh, put that in the comments. That'd be really kind of neat. Um, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you've been watching my channel and you've been enjoying my channel, boy, it'd be so neat if you would subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And then go over here, ring that bell, and you'll get updates to my latest videos. This was great. Put a big smile on my face. 
I loved it. I hope you loved it. And it put a smile on your face. And peace out, baby.